here's the latest video on the progress on the 55 Nomad. I've uh, cut the old firewall out, welded in a new smoothie. Two things this does, cleans up the firewall, the engine compartment, and gives it more room. It set back four inches for more room for a bigger engine. And welded that all in, and while I had it out, I was able to get up in behind the dash and spray a product that's called POR15 up in there. To First, what you do is you treat it with this metal prep, and that stops the rust, and then there's the product you spray in there. And go to Harbor Freight and bought these spray guns, electric paint spray gun for less than $20 and was able to spray way up in behind into this area here which you can't get at with a paintbrush and just sealed all that rust and killed the rust. It's like <clears throat> cancer. You got to cut the rust out or it'll continue. And the only other way to take care of it is to encapsulate it and seal it and stop it. This is a patch panels that I had to put in above the uh, where the visors go. They were rusted there. There's my patch panel for the uh, for this roof. I've got it all cut out and ready to TIG weld in. Also installed new inner wheel wells on both sides and got that going and let's see we're also I'm working on the doors <clears throat> you can see there's a little bit of rust here a little bit of uh, yeah but they make patch panels but nothing's plug and play you have to cut it and fit it and make sure it all fits in there correctly and then on the other side of the door I've got some rust along the bottom and what you do is you cut this out and TIG weld it but in behind so you don't get a blowout you put these behind your magnet and you put it behind your weld so that you won't get blowouts I just bought a new TIG machine and I'm practicing. This is only using it for like 10 minutes. So, but that's what happens if you get too hot, it'll just blow out. So when using these copper backing, it won't, it'll help from blowing out and it works as a heat sink. Well, this is the MIG machine I was using. It works great for, for <clears throat> welding, for spot welding and welding in the firewall. firewall. And then I got this one, it's from Harbor Freight, and it's got what they call high frequency start, so you don't have to touch the probe to the metal and lift it. <clears throat> it has a pulse, and the TIG is, is like gas welding. You have to go along and it creates the fire, and then you have to feed in, you feed in the uh, uh, filler as you're going. Or a MIG machine, it has the electro, comes right out, that's the metal, and it just fills it in as you're welding. Wanted to show you one other thing. Let me flip this around. Working on a patch panel here. This is a kind of a tricky one because what I had to do, I had a reverse curve here, and so to do that, you just take it out and lay it on a on this carpet or a rug, throw rug, and you pound it to way to get the form you want, and then you're able to get it up in there. And it doesn't fit too bad. I'll have to do a little working with it when I get it in question I have now is here in the wheel wells there's this bump right here and 
if you're putting a bigger tire on, it's like sticks down one inch. I think I need to cut that out. So if anybody watching the videos knows anything about that, I would uh, appreciate a heads up on that. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much where, where I'm at. The next time I do a video is I'll have all the metal work done and I'll be ready to start doing the body work on it. So anyway, uh, that's all I got for this time. Thanks for looking.